The plants that produce fruit and vegetables are rooted in soil. But what exactly is soil? Soil is a living substance containing different elements whose interaction determines the health of the plants it supports. Soil contains minerals such as sand, silt and clay. The proportion of minerals in the soil determines its texture. It is the organic matter called humus that determines the soil's fertility. The humus is constantly being regenerated by the living organisms it contains. Soil is a rich reservoir of microorganisms. The microorganisms facilitate the absorption of carbon in the soil, reducing the polluting effects which contribute to climate change. And by merging with roots, bacteria and fungi, these earthy heroes, protect the plant from disease and provide it with water and all the nutrients it needs. One gram of plant-covered soil contains around one billion bacteria from between 5,000 and 25,000 species. The other star of the soil is the earthworm, of which there are some 25,000 per hectare. In one year, several hundred tons of earth pass through the digestive tract of just a single one of these tireless workers. Worms also create tunnels, which help plants access nutrients and speed up absorption of air and water, which also prevents soil erosion. Soil health has a direct impact on human health, but soil is in danger. The use of pesticides and chemical fertilizers is sterilizing soil and killing living organisms. Deprived of organic nutrients, plants are becoming dependent on chemicals. Their natural defenses are weakened and they need ever greater amounts of artificial inputs just to survive. Farmers, who have until relatively recently benefited from the free and natural service provided by soil, are in turn at the mercy of chemical inputs. A vicious circle develops, whereby ever greater sums of money are required to buy more and more products. Plants that are deprived of natural nutrients produce fruit and vegetables of inferior quality, which are low in vitamins and essential nutrients. They also contain potentially harmful pesticide residue. Urgent action is needed, and there is a solution. The solution is agroecology. Agroecology respects the soil's natural life cycle. It can also re-inject new life in infertile soils by counteracting the harmful effects of chemicals. How? by feeding the soil with compost, fertilizing it with green manure, practicing crop rotation and by not harming its underground organisms by digging or plowing it up. Agroecology allows us to practice a form of agriculture which respects soil life whilst providing enough healthy, varied and tasty food for everyone. It is crucial for us to remember that living and healthy soil is good for our health, good for farmers, good for the environment and the climate and good for the earth.